Hey what's up everyone, welcome to Ice Rink Diaries, local ice man here. And today I'm going to show you how I drill the ice for depth. Now about once a week, sometimes every two to three during the slow season, I'll go out there with the drill and the drill bit and drill the ice and see how thick it is. Now even though I can tell with the brightness of the lines how thick or thin the ice is, as well as the concrete elevation chart, I have a good indication of how thick or thin the ice is. But it's still a good idea to go out there and tap your ice to see how thick it is. It just gives you a solid indication of where your thick and thin spots are. So I got there with my drill and my cart and my little chart here. And I tapped the ice about, I don't know, 20 different spots. The corners and the straightaways in the middle of the ice to kind of see where the thick and thin spots are. And I write down here. And, I, and if it's really thin or thick, I kind of uh, highlight it with a highlighter just to draw attention to those spots. Before we go out into the ice, let me show you my cart here and what I've done to it. So here's the cart I use. I commandeered it years back. It's just an AV cart. No one really seems to be missing it. I use it for different jobs around the building. If you see, I was a paint cart at one time. I just store stuff on it, things like that. If I got some work to do, I'll stack some stuff on it, roll it somewhere. But anyway, I kind of use it for drilling the ice because I tape this ruler on the side. It's really easy to, to do a measurement and write it down here. I always bring two pens. I hate walking out there and having one die on you and have to walk back. This is a drill but I use to drill the ice. Nothing too special with it. All, all I can say is that you don't want nothing that's too skinny because as you go down in the ice it kind of flexes. As well as the skinnier bits tend to be shorter. You want something at least two inches on it. Our ice could fluctuate between three quarters of an inch to one inch inch and a half. You just want a drill bit basically that's long enough to get to the subfloor below which is concrete for us as well as nothing that's going to flex or bend as you go into the ice. Our subfloor underneath the ice is concrete so it's nice to have a drill that you don't care that it's going to get beat up as you tap against the concrete. You don't need a terribly sharp bit to do this with. So this drill chart I just got from the star rink. Um, I think it's basically gets most of the points. I also like to drill sometimes these little spots right here and this spot right here that's our kind of our trouble area as well as right there. But this basically gets most of the spots that you're concerned about. As far as the date and stuff, you know, the date is always great to put on there. If you have multiple ranks, you, I can see where you need uh, arena designation and who did the ice tap. I don't you know. You can tell by my writing who did it. All right, let's go ahead and cart this thing out to the ice and I'll show you kind of what I do. So what I typically do is I start right here and I drill these two first. And I hit this one and kind of go across, get that one. And this way, it's kind of zigzag in a sense, back and forth across the rink. What I'll do is I'll show you how to drill a couple of them because this is not rocket science. I don't have to do every single one. Just kind of give you the gist and overview of what spots I hit. Then I'll set the camera up probably and do a little fast forward thing. All right, since I have the camera in my hands, it's going to be a little bit different, but this drill, so you hit the concrete, do a tap, kind of put your finger on it to mark it. And that's why it's nice to have this roller here because I can just put right there. So that's a, call it an inch and a quarter. And if I was smart, I would just convert this to metric because I think metric, and I go 1.25 for an inch and a quarter. But I think we should go metric because you're talking about one through five or something versus all these quarters and halves. But we're in America, so we're doing Imperial. Let's drill down if you hit the, the concrete there. Put your finger on it. Get about a little over an inch, inch and eighth. Let's go ahead and head over to the corner over here. And we're at an outer hash mark here. It's probably about a buck and a half. Ooh, inch and a quarter. Ice is looking good. And I'll leave my cart at sometimes in one spot and I'll come over here. And I'm going to bring the cart all the way over there. Drill down. So, about an inch and a half. And it's our quarters, an inch and a half, 1.5. Sorry, I did this one, so I'm going to go straight across this way. Hit the center dot next. This is one of the face off circles. I'm going to have to drill into it, drill off the side of it. I say this one's probably an inch and a quarter. Oh, look at that. Inch and quarter. And I'm looking through the screen, so I'm not the most accurate, but I'm looking through the screen. All right, I get the hash mark here. And this is the last one I'll show you. 
And you know, a couple of bumps. That sounds loud on the camera, but it's just bumping the sand. If you have, or bumping the concrete. If you have sand, I don't know what we're gonna do. So that one right there. Ooh. Let me try that again there. Did my finger slip? Seems a little thin there, eh? Ooh, that's like an inch. A little under inch. I'll call it one seven eighths. So that's something you gotta be careful about. That seems a little thin. I'm just gonna leave it there and do a couple of taps. Alright, inch and a quarter there. If the numbers don't change, I'll drill a couple spots, then write them down. I don't drill too many spots before I so I don't lose memory, but I'm gonna drill the next couple spots, then work my way back to the blue line for you guys. All right, buck and a quarter across the blue line in the center of the ice, not too bad. All right, here's the final product. Ice is not looking too bad. We've got some thin spots here and there. A little spots in the corners, we kind of shaved down a little bit. Uh, maybe more than a little bit, but it's not too bad. Again, these numbers are not gonna match up because our concrete's not even. It's good. Uh, we expect that the thicker ice will be where the parts of the concrete are dipping down and the thin spots are where the concrete's rising up. So overall, it's looking good. I did some cross cuts last week. I uh, continue to do that about every other week to keep the ice uh, level and flat. This is just the basics on how you tap the ice. Nothing too special. And it's just good to know where your thin and thick spots are. Something that should be done once a week. Alright, I hope you guys learned something. And like the local ice man says, stay cool.